My primer was applied to the one wall court lines here at Green Hill Park Handball Courts in Worcester, Mass. And the first coat of the striping paint is being applied. The prep work takes a long time, but we're gonna do one side. Another day, we'll do the second court on the right side. Yeah, one of the hardest things about it is we don't have a tape gun. Tape guns go anywhere from three to $2,000. And for the most part, we're talking five or six for like the average tape gun. And uh, you know, if you get something at a very cheaper end, you don't know what you're getting. So, you know, paying that much for something, unless you're doing you know, side jobs or something where you're doing it, it's not worth getting it. Uh, but if you are doing it a lot, we do do it a lot. It's just an investment of six or seven hundred dollars right now. And to be honest with you, I'm trying to move away as best I can from doing this. But when I see the need, I have to do it because, you know, if not, you know, the courts go to, you know, they, they become unusable, you know what I mean? And it takes a long time so for them to get up and running again. And by then you probably lose half your players or something so you want to make sure people continue using the spaces and uh, that they don't get turned into something else you know what I mean we don't have thousands of players um, so the handful of players we have you know in order to increase that we need the spaces you know what I mean to stay open you know and usable this is the proper stuff to use it is tedious this stuff dries pretty much almost instantly, so you have to, usually you have one person pouring, the other one moving the, the paint, it goes on, it's almost like a bluish type of thing, but it's paint, and you gotta move it quick. And you have to let the first coat dry very yeah, well? Yeah, you want it to dry, you want to have the primer, because if not, you're not gonna get fine lines. And, uh, Wearing this wasn't the best. I mean, we had to, uh, you know, we snapped the line and it didn't really come out right. It's kind of tricky. Sometimes the wind plays, a, you know, a role too when you're trying to do something. Um, ideally, you got to be careful with this, not making it off the line. So. But like I said, it's you'll see when I take when I take the tape off. I take some pictures. It's better. There were cracks here. Very usable. You got to notice the little paint strokes and stuff like that. Some light surface uh, repair on the cracks. Like I said, this would take another coat of paint. And to be honest with you, the cracks weren't properly, uh, you know, covered. You know what I mean? You're supposed to use, it's like this tapey membrane. After, that's even after the, the mixture of sand, cement, and uh, bonding uh, glue or whatever it is that kind of mixes it together to keep it together. And that's, the, you know, first, and you got to scrape it. You got to do a bunch of different things to do it. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna, you know, I'll, I'll spend way too much time doing it. But like I said, we, you know, it's gonna be usable. We have this one too down here that we got to do. Uh, like I said, you're gonna see some brush, some roller marks. You know what I mean? Usually, you know, when you do the squeeze, and you don't notice it as much. You go across, and you kind of make like a U. And you make another U, and you keep going, and then taking, moving the the paint cross until you reach the end you know kind of like the way you would probably do like a driveway with driveway sealer to something like that so you make a u then you take that you make another u you keep going down i kind of just went across this way at first with a squeegee just to get that first coat of a large area and then um i decided to roll it on and then it was kind of light green so i didn't want to go with that light green here uh i mean ideally with the whole both sides would say even though it looked nice it would be better but then it would have to, you can see it shows more imperfection. And then you would have to get the other side. It's going to look like two different colors. Mm -hmm. As it is, there's two different colors, but it's not that big of a difference in the color. So usually even doing this, holding a roller like this over the green area is a no-no. Because then you drip something and then you got to spot, you know, you got to go over it again and try to avoid as many, you know, touch-ups as you can avoid it. Try to keep this over it for you, and then I'll go back to the 
So, so far it's looking wonderful. Okay, this is the back side facing the skate park right next to it. And these are four one wall handball courts at Green Hill Park. Located, I think if you look at it through Google Earth or Apple, 35 or 38 Officer Manny Familiar Way in Worcester, Mass. Have a good afternoon, everybody. Bye-bye.